Hey, it's Edge here. On today's video, we're checking out Anchor Protocol. This one is from Gate.io Exchange. And uh, this one actually was the one that I was supposed to do yesterday, but I actually did the ANKR, which is completely different. So uh, that was my mistake. And today we're going to get this ANC USD pair done. So uh, before we get into the Elliott Way count, uh, I'm going to show you some horizontal levels just to check out where we are at the market overall. Um, some moving averages, let's get into, well, yeah. Um, again, currently we are against the 250 day moving average. Before here, we were, we touched it and dumped down. Again, weeks and just about closing it, closing in right around this 250 moving average. But we're still having, or being, above it so kind of bullish uh, on, on a traditional um, early, or traditional technical analysis view but I don't really use this too much uh, just, to, just to note though um, on MACD we see that histogram has bottom, bottomed out here around 14th of March and heading higher um, could maybe see a slight turn of events here but as we see this before, a massive move on the histogram as well. So I'm not really expecting any any um, any good results just by looking at these uh, MACD uh, histograms or lines. A buy signal here definitely something that I wouldn't buy um, unless I would think that this is actually a wave to bottom on Elliot Wave. Uh, terms RSI here around 37 definitely not even over oversold territory so I wouldn't even think about this too much now let's get into the horizontal levels I plotted down here some monthly weekly daily levels that are um, some kind of support and resistances so currently we are We've gone through this daily level here and looking to head down to the, towards this weekly level that has been established as a good good level of resistance. We've had multiple weeks above it um, here um, acting as resistance until basically this point here um, just a couple of days ago, 7th of April and that was actually today <laughs> just a few hours ago um, establishing this weekly as a resistance now we're co currently coming back down went through straight through this daily level here um, we see one candle wick here closing above it and then going straight through it so actually we're going to be looking at this weekly what is going to be happening here next um, if we are holding that we probably could be looking at around these highs and this monthly level um, this support area or resistance currently is something to keep in mind as we've had plenty of action there maybe it's better to show as a box but uh, let's see I think those are the basic ones that I wanted to share before the Elliott Wave count. Um, this here, this structure is a bit weird looking. It could be look like a um, some kind of impulse wave here, an impulse wave here, and some kind of uh, possibly a a triangle here, making this whole wave structure a three wave structure, maybe a b c a zigzag, but. I haven't got a price data back here, so I don't, I don't know what is happening here. So we're actually starting the wave count all the way from down here, all time lows. So this is what I've got for the first leg up. And this is actually something different than we had with Bitcoin. So let me pull that up. and. This is just a central uh, 
comparison between the two. Let's put it back to the scale here. So we see the Bitcoin has been going sideways uh, pretty much and this is the all-time highs here for Bitcoin. Um, we see the Bitcoin came down and bringing everything with them and around this 24th um, this anchor bottoming around here 28th of January but since then it has been on massive upwards movement um, comparing it to Bitcoin Bitcoin has been just doing sideways things currently this ripped almost 400 percent and Bitcoin didn't really do much on that time so this is definitely something that is not um, really related with Bitcoin at least currently so of course a down, downwards movement a large one on Bitcoin would affect this coin as well but they are not very similar or the same as perhaps some other major altcoins that are moving more with Bitcoin but again this first five bay move I label as one two three four five in minor scale and we had a subwave structure suggesting that this would be a a third wave extension wave one here two three four five with again third wave um, extension here one two having a expanded not expanded flat but a running flat almost coming down to the 1.618 and coming down again making it running flat if it would be an expanded flat it would come down all the way below here below this point now uh, the third wave then the fourth and the fifth and that is pretty much how we got to these current highs we had um, then we have this possible count to go down to the current lows that we had around 27th of March I label this as 1 2 3 4 5 into A B and then C the C wave that should actually be here I think yeah this C wave uh, is a diagonal um, and it's not really pretty but it is what it is sometimes we don't you just don't get good looking wave structures um, this also could be something else but we'll dig into that in just a bit um, this structure here I label this as A, B and C um, this is supported this structure on RSI as well having the highs here either A, lows on A, B, C, D actually the D is lowest but let's zoom in a bit D is here and E is here so the rest here is not part of this structure so the triangle is, is still valid now this brings us to the B and then we have some kind of C wave um, I had this labeled as the C wave and this would be another diagonal up to the C and then we would be correcting down as we are currently doing now um, this would just suggest us to do something something on this that I'm not quite fond of the A wave only retraced around the point eight now three eight two only thirty eight percent upwards let's see general as you see just tack this line here and reject it off of that now the thirty eight two is really not something that you are looking for when you are seeing five waves here or even three waves here um, you would expect at least the 0.5 or 50% retracement on any kind of circumstance but this is definitely not invalid in any case so so 
we just need to keep that in mind. Um, this is a possibility that we are creating some kind of flat here um, then heading higher correctively giving us this C wave as an impulsive structure on motive wave again creating a really high um, place or good buy, buy place around here but we need to look for how this this current wave structure develops if there's possibility for this be a B wave into buy buy to get to this C wave um, the labels here WXY as well if we come up all the way here after B wave um, below the 854 is in X wave and we would be expecting three wave move down to the Y wave if we correct higher than the 85% upwards all the way anywhere here um, we would be expecting the five waves down with the C wave this again would be exp with the uh, with us saying that this would be an ABC move and not a bullish move this would be a corrective move higher and then we would be coming down for the wave 2 of, of this whole move another possibility is that we've actually already done the wave 2 and we are creating some kind of bullish structure up upwards now this is definitely not something that I like <laughs> this uh, bullish structure the first five waves are fine uh, we're getting a truncated fifth here into one and then ABC into two but the price action after that point is just horrible looking I guess we could say that this is some kind of diagonal um, this should be over here but but yeah it is ugly super ugly and I would I wouldn't really play this at the moment with the bullish scenario in mind the bearish scenario is again this WXY um, saying that this is the first three-way move this is the second three-way move already done and we would be looking for targets lower the first target would be around here 618 and just <laughs> just barely above these lows would be the one-to-one -one extension now this is again one of those that I don't really like just because the wave 2 of this whole move would bring us so close to this um, invalidation point here but another possibility I guess just to show you and the last one is this one and let's clear those and there we go that this is actually a five-way move instead of the three-way move um, here we would create an expanded flat into wave two and here we have a zigzag on four creating us alteration between the two corrections and again have that weird looking diagonal here onto the fifth at this time we would be expecting some kind of move upwards as this is a five way move we would be expecting anywhere between these levels uh, for the B wave to go to these are the retracements from top here to the bottom of here um, for a zigzag that we are looking for if we go higher than 5.4 then it would make something else as a zigzag can't go above the 90% or 0.854 retracement so anywhere between these levels is something that the B wave can be at currently again making this three-way move and if we're not going higher then this could suggest that we're making another three ways down 
and then another three waves up for the B before we are going to make this five wave move down. So generally I would be expecting some kind of a sideways action probably getting a small high higher uh, high here um, to around this 382 oh, sorry to the 3.8 um, area for the 0.5 uh, retracement area and then we're going to create some kind of five way move down to the wave 2 and then we can start heading up I think those are the, all the options that I wanted to present to you today. If you have another coin you would like me to analyze, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.